Divers off the coast of Taiwan encountered a giant oarfish, believed by some to be a sign of impending earthquakes. The mesmerizing video shows the divers circling the silver creature with mysterious holes in its body. The oarfish, measuring about six and a half feet long, was likely dying as it ventured into shallower waters. The holes on its body were thought to be caused by a cookie-cutter shark. Locals associate oarfish sightings with earthquakes based on Japanese mythology, but experts dismiss this superstition. The belief intensified after after the 2011 Fukushima earthquake, although there is no scientific evidence supporting the connection. Shalom, shalom. It's the brother Zachariah coming back to you with another uh, lesson. All right, and I, uh, I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring and during the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your call and election assured, seeking out your own salvation. To you sisters out there that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, shalom. All right. And as you uh, see the video in the beginning, um, you know, they ran into this, what they call a doomsday fish. All right. You know, these uh, divers were filming this elusive uh, doomsday fish thought to be a warning of impending disaster. All right. And I guess it's called the oar fish, but it's also known as the doomsday fish was seen in shallow waters off the coast of Taiwan, which is the doomsday fish theory. All right. This was back on the 20th of July. Okay. So I guess they're saying when they see this type of fish, uh, around they feel like it you know some type of doom or something uh can come come you know which some people look at it like oh it could be just some tall tale or you know conspiracy but you know when animals certain animals can sense certain things you know and and if animals you know pop up on the scene that you don't normally see you know something could be on the way you know uh you know which uh speaking of the ocean you know they have, there's leviathan in there you know, they had the footage of where those um, sea creatures were all like just beaching themselves. And we know a lot of it has to do with what Esau's doing to the oceans. You know, he's the destroying mountain. But uh, also, you know, if them uh, animals run into Leviathan, which Leviathan is the biggest creature in the ocean. You know, they talk about it's, it's the whale, you know, a certain whale. But no, the whale is nothing compared to the size of Leviathan. You know, and if they come across him, they might scare the shit out of them creatures, man. So they they was running to the uh, they looked like they were terrified by what they encountered. You know, and they were just willing to beach themselves on it. All right, this is Psalms 104, 24, and it says, O Lord, how how uh, manifold are thy works, and, and wisdom has thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. All right, this is the point right here. It says, so is th this great and wide sea. All right, the, the uh, ocean, there's more water than it is land on, on the earth, on this earth, man. You know, and it's deep. So there's all kinds of things, you know. And men, men can only um, go so deep in this ocean. You know, they've only explored, I believe, what is it, like 2 3% of the ocean. All right. So it says, so is this great and wide sea wherein are things creeping, innumerable, and both small and great beasts. All right. So you have a lot of these uh, uh, creatures out there in this ocean, man. There's the creatures that we have never even encountered. All right. So we're going to move on to this... Um, next article here and it says a water view uh can animals can animals sense oncoming um natural disasters all right and it says many cultures have linked certain animal 
behaviors to catastrophes like earthquakes, tsunamis, and hurricanes. You know, a lot of them can sense it. You see it all the time in movies when uh, a tsunami or earthquake or something is about to come. You see a lot of birds like they just they shooting a whole nother direction, you know, or and animals, you know, they just begin to take off. You see it all the time in these movies and, and you see it, you know, happen in real time, you know. And it says throughout our lives, we have witnessed natural disasters wreak havoc around the world. In some of those case, cases, man-made early warning systems failed to raise any alarm. But some animals seem to have a sense of those looming dangers. So how is it possible they could do this? Animals have been giving us the heads up on natural disasters for centuries. Many cultures have linked certain animal behaviors to catastrophes like earthquakes, tsunamis, and hurricanes. And that's why they probably, they when they see that fish, they know something can be coming. You know, you never know. You know, it says the earliest reference we have have to this phenomenon is all the way back in 373 B.C. in Greece, when rats, weasels, snakes and centipedes book, booked it out of their homes and headed for safety several days before a big earthquake hit, you know, and we still see animals making moves before disaster strike. One of the most well-known examples happened during the uh, 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami where elephants and dogs were reported to have fled to higher ground before the wave hit. All right. And there's more on this, but uh, I'm not going to jump into all that. But uh, this is uh, Job 12 and 7. It says, but ask now the beasts and they shall teach thee. All right. And the fowls of the air and they shall tell thee. All right. So sometimes, and it's not like them actually like talking, saying words to you, but just observing, observing. You know, the scriptures also go into how you, uh, you can learn watch by, uh, you know, us watching the, uh, the ants. You know how the ants operate and stuff like that. Consider the, the ways of the ant. You know, and how they work as a team. This is how we should we should go. You know, and the Most High always sometimes describes us as a certain animals. He's not calling us animals, but like. You know, like our, our behavior, sometimes it resembles certain animals, you know. And um, so, uh, you know, that's why it, you know, these scriptures, when you look into it, man, it really, you can consider the ways. You can consider the ways of these um, animals and stuff like that and, and learn from them. But a lot of times, if you see them going a certain way, you know, they, don't sense, they sense danger. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'll bring all this out to say that also the men of the Lord can sense danger as well. We've been prophesying and telling you about the doom that's coming. All right. You know, and this is uh, Proverbs 22 and 3. All right. It says a prudent man foreseeeth the evil and hide of himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. All right. So, you know, so one of the questions we should ask ourselves is what is a prudent man? Okay. And this, this is prudent. And it says acting wit or showing care and thought for the future. All right. You know, and, and uh, we're also known as, uh, you know, we call us prophets, the men of the Lord, but we're also known as seers, you know, because, you know, we could pretty much see into the future, you know. And, you know, you see similar words, uh, wise, uh, let's see, uh, well advised, cautious, careful, <laughs> farsighted. Uh, let's see. Is there any other words circumspect all right you know those are those are words you know what i'm saying um and uh, that define the men of the lord you know we we are are cautious of our surroundings we're always um you know looking into the future man you know you know which you know a lot of that has to do with the word you know the prophecy you know prophecies we can go into these prophecies we talk about things that that haven't even happened yet but they they and uh, they end up coming to pass, you know, because we're going into prophecy and we all been revealed uh, all, all these things, you know, through the um, the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, the Holy and him sending that Holy Spirit upon us. OK, so, you know, again, you know, a prudent man foreseeth the evil. All right. You know, Proverbs 22 and three, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself. But the simple. uh the simple pass on and are punished.
You know, those are those that don't even consider the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're not, they, they don't look at their surroundings, oh, they say, oh, I don't watch the news, or oh, I don't care about all those things. All I worry about is chasing the bag, you know, or chasing women, or women chasing men, uh, you know, I heard dealing with drama, you know, stuff, stuff that don't mean no, nothing, you know, it's all vanity. You know, you should be diving into these prophecies and, and understanding the times that we're in because we're technically, we're at the end, you know. But our people, man, they don't consider it. All right. All right. And um, this is the book of Luke, uh, chapter 21. And I'm going to read verses 25 through 26. And I'll end it on this. Like I said, this wasn't supposed to be long. Just going into an article and just bringing out a few precepts and just kind of like you know we could pretty much like i said we could link a, a pretty much anything that comes out as far as these scriptures or, or these articles i mean uh you know to back to the scriptures you know and tie it and show you you know how things can link up to the holy scriptures and um and just let you know the times that we're in all right but this is Luke chapter 21. I'm going to start at verse 25. And it says, And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. You know, which you could look at the earth as also this, you know, the ocean. All right. And it says, it says, Upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves warring. Okay. You know, when you go into the, the sea, you know, you got the sea life out there. You know, and they were talking about that, that creature, that animal, you know. That was my first time seeing a fish like that. I ain't never even heard of that fish. You know, that just shows you there's so much in that ocean that has has not been discovered. All right. Verse 26, and it says, Men's hearts felling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of, of heaven shall be shaking. All right. And, you know, in the next verse going into it, it talks about, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai returning. You know, and the animals are going to know as well. The animals are going to... Uh, they're going to know when, when the Messiah returns because they're all going to be going crazy. You know, uh, we've been seeing a lot of uh, videos where like animals that were going in circle. They were all moving in circle. And I'm talking about like you've seen cattle doing it. You've seen uh, ants and, and stuff like that. All types of creatures, birds and stuff flying around in circles like weird stuff going on. Uh, sheep and goats and stuff, you know, uh, because man, uh, they probably have that sense of understanding, you know, hey, you know, the Messiah is coming, you know, all right, because, you know, he's also going to give the uh, green light on these animals to, to turn on um, their owners. They're going to turn on these people. You know, there's zoos all throughout Babylon the Great, you know. Um, I remember uh, one of the uh, elders, man, he went into a lesson of uh, there was a TV series called Zoo, and I only think it had one season, but um, where the animals uh, turned, uh, they turned on the people they just started going buck wild man you know eating dogs cats uh lions elephants rhinos everything and you know there's a lot of zoos out here and uh you know the scriptures really go into it of how like these animals are gonna be attacking people and stuff like that in these last days and and that's why i always was like you know we're in babylon but there's lions and stuff all throughout here because there's zoos all throughout the u.s you know and them animals are gonna go crazy you know, on the people, you know, they're going to turn on them, you know, and that's going to uh, be, uh, they're going to get the green light from the Heavenly Father, you know, in that time. All right. So uh, I didn't want to be long with this lesson, but Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. To the next one. Shalom.